we're gonna be making a mini fairy garden. It's gonna be so cute. Welcome to Shoot the Sienna. Let's have fun. So for the fairy garden you need, first of all, you need a big plant pot. You need a big stack of soil to fill the plant pot with. And then you need some bread. This is every, some rainbow rocks. Box. And then you need a tiny little bonsai tree. Look how cute that is. And then you need some other, a few little other plants or cactuses. And then you can add on a little bridge if you want or some other accessories. And then here we also have some moss to make the grass. Most importantly, we have the birdhouse, which I'm actually going to be using as a tiny little fairy house where all of the fairies are going to live. But first, this segment of the video is sponsored by Awesome Blossoms. Awesome Blossoms are these really cool dolls where you get to grow your own doll. So you pull on the tab, open the wrapper. I got the orange and pink one. And that's actually a sign of what group it comes from. Open it. Here is our sparkly soil. You have your little decorations to put on here. And you have your instructions on the first side. As you can tell, that's a little sign of what color the pot is for what group it goes in. Here is your very special seed. And you have to pull the safety tab off and you put it in. You get your sparkly soil and pour it all over the top so it covers the seed. Now we've got all of our special soil. We have to put the water on with our special watering cup and then we get to watch her grow. But there's a special amount of water which you have to put on which is five scoops. So let's put one, two, three, four, five. First we have to say the magic words. Plant the seed, let water flow. I have the magic to make awesome blossoms grow. <gasps> wow! Look at her, that looks so cool. Look at her shoes. She's got pink hair as well, wow. Look at her, that's her hair. And if you can get a pencil, you get to mark her off. There might be one super rare, or there'll be one rare. And guess what, she's also scented. Each group has their own scent. You can use this pot as a stationary pot or to keep your hairbands in. And here you have your decorations, so you pop them out, slip. Here you go, here's your pillow and her handbag. And then she can also stand up. If you wanna go eat your lunch, then you can just pop the lid on and then she'll be in there all safe. And it's also sparkly for her. Now let's grow some more dolls. Four, five. She's from Sweet Chic. That's cute. Let's go see some more. Wow. This one's from the posh floor. Look there. Now let's open another. Wow. Who's this? I think we've got the ultra rare doll in this one. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited for this. This one. Whoa. diamond on the top for Tio. Wow, that is crazy. There's only 3,000 of them and I got 1,702. If you want to check out Awesome Blossoms, go to the link in the description. Now let's get onto the video. Right, so first you have to put the soil in this big pot because you can't really do anything else if you don't have soil. And by the way guys, if you didn't know, this is what I eat out for my dinner. <laughs> So I'm gonna have to get daddy to help me with this. So here we got all of the soil. So now we're gonna plant our, actually, I should put the house in first. I feel like I should put the house, because like the house is the main key and then we'll kind of know where everything else is to go. So I was thinking it could go like here. Yeah, I feel like over here. And then there could be like, maybe like the bonsai tree could go here and then stepping stones around here. I feel like that looks good. Right, now we should put the bonsai tree in. Let's make a hole. I hope I don't hurt. Oh wow, look at all of its roots. It kind of looks creepy. Oh my goodness. 
It looks like a real tree, like actually like in the ground, like a real tree when you go to the park. Wow, that is crazy. Whoa, look at that guys. And even a little twig has fell off it, so it's like a little twig, just like branches which has fallen off the tree. Right, next we should plant the other plants. Where should we put the other plants? A hole again? Actually, it's kind of hole there. Plant a little plant. Yeah, I feel like that's good. Bridge then, see if the, so then it's like their little steps. They go around the back or the front? I think they go around the back. So they walk up, the fairies walk up there, then they go there, then they go inside that tiny little hole, and then they sit down and like have their dinner. Now it's actually starting to look like a real fairy garden. Oh my goodness. Okay, now we should put the plants. Should I go there or should I go next to him? I feel like they should be friends. I'm just gonna put it here. Yeah. Oh, I think he's gonna get a bit too crushed. I think his leaves is gonna get crushed. I don't think he can go there. Right, so he's quite big. Maybe he could just go here. Oh, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. He's falling, he's falling, sorry, sorry. Yeah, I feel like that does look quite nice. I feel like it will look quite nice with the plant there. Yeah, that, that, that is gonna be fine. And then maybe even if they don't wanna stand on the mud here, I could just put a few stepping stones there up to that bit. Right, let's pop one out of its little case and then here's your new home, okay? It'll be fun here with the fairies, don't worry. You'll have little um, people looking after you. Here we go, opening our little present of moss out. So cool, but at the same time weird. This first put, I don't know if this is gonna look like grass. Yeah it is, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> this is so cool! Right, so maybe we can like put it there. I'm using plants as a gu guideline and we'll have to get like a small bit, like for over here. Yeah, that, that, that's actually looking great. Okay, this is actually looking better than I thought it would. It would be so cool if we could fly. Actually, we can not fly because we're superheroes. I don't know what I'm talking about. Superheroes don't have to fly to be superhero. You can still save the world without ha without flying, but it still would be cool to fly. Oh wow, this is a big bit. I'll try to put um, some over here. Maybe I might put a few little stepping stones on top of it. Yeah, that's nice. They can walk on a little bit of grass or fly. See how it's really coming to life now. Let's put some here. Bet the furries are gonna be Flying to our house soon. I mean, they have their own whole garden with their own house. They have everything. Let's try and get the in between of the plants. Should we get the back of them? Maybe like do kind of like the backy sides. Yeah, that looks okay. I don't think we will actually need to um, sack because um, I don't want it to be too puffy. Yeah, that looks good. Oopsie, sorry house. So now we've got our little stepping stones. I don't know if it's gonna work. They're just managing to balance. I think I'm gonna have to put like quite a lot on. Yeah, that's gonna be okay. I mean, together they're gonna be quite heavy. Should be okay. I think the fairies are gonna be able to walk on that. I mean, I can add to the path a little bit. I'll definitely have to tidy that up a little bit. I'm gonna tidy it up first, actually. Just to make it a little bit more tidy of a path because they're bouncing everywhere. We don't want the fairies to be bouncing up in the sky. Actually, they can fly, so they'll hopefully be okay. How light are fairies, though? They might be like really light and then they will trampoline off this. Or they might be like really heavy. I don't know. And add a little few more just to it. Make sure it's staying like that. And then, yeah, it's good. Good, it's good. How does that look? Yeah, that looks great. So the fairies, how will the fairies get up? Oh, they, I keep forgetting fairies can fly. So they'll fly up to here, they'll like jump down, they'll go across their little path, they'll go up here, and then they'll go through this little, actually, I'll put a few stepping stones there just so they don't have to stand on the moss or grass for them. And then they'll, Go along there, they'll go in there, then they'll go in their little home. They can like, they can sit down here and look out at the stuff, and then they can go to their little tree. Wow, I think the fairies are gonna like this.
Brother Bear's gonna hopefully they'll come tomorrow. Thanks for watching, see you.